In this video, I'll show you how to create this simple JavaScript project, which is a color flipper. We have these buttons. When you click on green, we change the background color to green. When you click on red, we change it to red and blue as well. And we have this random button, which generates a random color. And when I click on it, the background color changes to a random color. So let's get into it. The first thing that we are going to create is a container for these elements, which are going to be a H1 with the color flipper text inside. And for the buttons that are going to change the colors, there is going to be four buttons. So I will put them in a group. So the first one is going to have the ID green. And I will also create a on click event handler. So when you click on this button, we will call a function and this function is going to be set color function. We don't have this function yet. We will create this when we create the functionality inside JavaScript. This function is going to have a argument, which is going to be the color of this button, which is green. And the text is going to be green as well. So when you click on this button, we are going to call this function with the argument of green. And this function is going to set the background color to green. I will do the same for the other two buttons, which is going to be red. We will change the argument to red and text to red and blue. And for the final button, this is going to have a different function. Let's give it the ID random. So this random button is going to have the function random color. So this random color function is going to be our second function. And this function is going to create a random RGB color each time you click on this button and it will set the background color to that random color. Let's put the random text inside. And that is it with the HTML part. Now we can style this and then we will create the JavaScript. First, I will select everything and set the margin and padding to zero. Set the box sizing to border box and you can choose whatever font you like. I will select the body, set the minimum height to 100 VH to make this body element cover the whole viewport. And to center the container inside, I will make this body a flex container and I will use a line item center and justify content center to center the container. Let's select the container and set the background color to white. Add some padding inside, 3 EM on each side. I will center the text. Let's make this a flex container as well and change the flex direction to column to make every item inside stacked on top of each other. I will put some gap between those elements, which is the H1 and the button group. I will select the button group and make it a flex container as well to be able to put some gap between the buttons. Let's style the buttons as well. I will add some padding to make it bigger. 1 EM at the top and the bottom and 2 EM on the sides. Increase the font size. Add some border radius. Text color is going to be white. Let's create some border as well. Cursor is going to be pointer when you hover over it and transition for the hover effect. And when you hover over it, we will make it just a bit bigger. Now let's select the buttons and change the background color. Green is going to have the background color green. Red is going to be red. Blue is going to be blue. And we will only change the random colors text color, which is going to be black. And that is it with the styling. Now we can create the functionality. So as I said earlier, we will create these functions, which are going to change the background color of this body element. So the first thing that we are going to do is to put the body elements inside a variable. I will create a variable named body. I will get this element by its tag name. 
inside the parentheses I will say body. So even though there is only one body inside this HTML file, we need to specify which one. And in this case, it is going to be the first one, even though there is only one. Otherwise, it is not going to select the body. I will create this set color function. And this function is going to take a argument, which is going to be the name. And inside, I will access the body's background color. And I will set it equal to this argument. So this name is basically going to be the color that you are going to click. So if you click on the green, as you can see, the set color function has the argument of green. And inside JavaScript, this name argument is going to be green. And we are going to set it equal to the background color of the body element. And the next one is going to be the random color function. This is not going to take any arguments. So inside this function, we need to find a way to create a random color. Each time you call this function, I will create a variable named color. I will use backticks. And as I said earlier, this color that we are going to generate is going to be a RGB color. And as you may know, RGB stands for red, green, and blue. And it has basically three integers inside. For example, 255, 255, and 255. These three colors represent each of these colors. So the first one is red, second one is green, and third one is blue. And these numbers are between 0 and 255, and each of them represents a color. And RGB basically blends these colors in to create a RGB color. So basically, to create a random RGB color, we need to create three random integers each time you call this function. And because we used backticks, instead of these hard-coded numbers, we can put variables inside. As I said, the first one is red. Second one, green. And third one is blue. And after we create three random integers for each of these variables, just like we did with this function, we will access to the background color of the body elements and we will set it equal to this random color. And the only thing left is to create these random numbers. So the first one is going to be red. I will use math.random and I will multiply this by 255 to create a random number between 0 and 255. But this is going to give us a decimal number. We need an integer, which is a whole number. And to make this number a whole number, I will use math.round. And this is going to give us an integer between 0 and 255 each time this function is called. I will do the same thing for the other colors as well. This one is going to be green. This one is going to be blue. And that is it. First, we put the body element inside a variable. And using this variable, we access to the background color of the body. And using this set color function and its arguments, which are the colors inside these buttons. And for the random button, we create a random color using math.random by creating three random integers inside this RGB color. And every time you click on this function, we will create this random color and we will set it equal to the background color of the body element. And I just realized we didn't style this container properly. So going back into the CSS file, inside this container, I will create a border radius and create a border. And that is it. And I just realized another mistake. And this one is a huge one. So you can take a lesson from this. I created this math.randoms with capital R's and I copy and pasted it. Every single one of these variables doesn't work properly. So this is not going to be capital R. And now every single button is working fine. And that is how we can create a color flipper using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for your time.
and I will see you next time.